Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at ratios. And we have a couple of different situations that we're going to write ratios out for. So our top one, we have uh, strawberries and oranges. We're going to use the picture up in the top right. And then number two, we have a written out situation that we are going to pull numbers from or quantities from in order to write our ratios. So let's start with number one here, where we have the ratio of strawberries to oranges. Now with ratios, order matters. Whatever comes first in your problem needs to come first in your ratios. So strawberries to oranges, so strawberries have to come first. So let's see how many strawberries we have. Well, one, two, three, four. So we have four strawberries to how many oranges? Well, one, two. So four to two is one way we can write a ratio out. We can also use a colon. So we could say four colon two. And that just means four strawberries to two oranges. Or we can use a fraction, four to two. Whatever comes first is your numerator, the top number, whatever comes second, your denominator. Now with ratios, just like fractions, you always want to simplify if it applies to that ratio. And four to two, we can simplify. We need to find the greatest common factor between four and two. So what can divide into both four and two? Well, we can divide them both by two. So four divided by two is two, and two divided by two is one. So I'm going to rewrite the simplified ratios, two to one. Next, I'll write it with the colon. So two to one, two strawberries to every one orange. And then lastly, fraction, two to one. And let's take a look at the picture up at the top right. And as we can see, two strawberries to one orange, two strawberries to every one orange. So our simplified ratio matches our picture. Let's take a look at the second part of number one, the ratio of oranges to the total amount of fruit. This is called a part to whole ratio because we're taking a part of the group, the oranges, to the whole group of fruit. So oranges, how many do we have? Well, two. I'm going to use the colon for this. Two to how many total pieces of fruit? Well, six. Two, two, uh, I'm sorry, two oranges to six pieces of fruit. Now this one can be simplified because there's a greatest common factor between two and six. We can divide them both by two. And two divided by two is one and six divided by two is three. So the simplified version is one orange to every three pieces of fruit. So again, that's a part to whole ratio. Now the first part of number one up here, this was part to part because the strawberries are a part of the group and we compared it to the oranges, which is another part of the group. All right, let's take a look at number two. Mo has seven sports video games, three racing video games, and eight action video games. So we're given the situation in words here without a picture. And we need to find the ratio of sports to racing games, and then the ratio of action games to racing games. So let's do uh, A first here. And we need sports first to racing games. So how many sports games? Well, seven. And I'll use the colon again. And we are now finding how many racing games? Well, three. Sports needed to come first because it's first in our situation. Racing comes second because it's second in our situation. So there are seven sports games to every three racing games. That one is in simplest form already, so we're done. Let's take a look at B. 
ratio of action games to racing games. Well, how many action games? There are eight action games. That needs to come first because it was first in our situation. And two racing games. And there are three racing games. So there are eight action games to every three racing games. That one is in simplest form already, just like part A. So we are done with uh, number two there. So there you have it. There's how we write out ratios for different types of situations. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.